Hi all, this is Smash Coon, and I'm going to be filling you in, in my opinion, of YouTube's latest course of action with their update. Now, we all noted that ever since Google.com has purchased YouTube.com, um, with their each and every update, it's been going down the pooper. And according to the Real Weekly News Channel on YouTube, it says that 25% of what YouTube is now is going to remain due to new corporate sites like Disney and so on will be become quote unquote mega partners. All of our videos will be secluded to a single tab on YouTube's main page which will um, decrease our traffic on channels dramatically. And I'm not sure what your first um, reaction to that is but I was very enraged because what's the whole point of having you and YouTube if there's no you what is it not then just them too I I cannot grasp why they would want to do this why they would want to cut off people who have made them the site what it is today it just boggles my mind I mean If it wasn't for us, then YouTube would be like a nothing site. It wouldn't be unheard of and would probably die a few mon months after launch. And yet, they're going to cut us off in exchange for all these other channels, or not channels, but partners like Disney and Burger King and other, other high corporate sites and organizations. We've worked hard to make what our channels are today. Even though we may not be as popular as said mega partners, we are nonetheless the people and deserve a voice in the community. I cannot say why why these mega partners would become before us other than they have money. But it's just not right. I mean, why would you want to cut us off? No, rather, what, I was tr what I'm trying to say is, it just, it really makes me mad that YouTube is doing this. It's been cutting pot. I've also seen, thanks to um, the Real Weekly News channel, that little by little, YouTube has been trying to censor people's videos so that they will get less, r less views and other such methods of douchebaggery. I, I was really mad to see that too and see they have proof of it actually happening such as they've been removing featured and most discussed videos into invisible tabs which can only be seen by hovering over the tab. Which really got me mad because if they're popular and they've been discussed, rated, etc. then they deserve to be seen. Not through the spotlight page that YouTube has made due to their um mega partners it just really makes me mad that YouTube will do this to their community who made the site what it is today it really gets on my nerves almost to the point of where I'm speechless and cannot say anything other than gibberish and grunts yeah well anyways one more thing that really got me mad YouTube in 2006 used to be wonderful. I loved the site so much because they were a little less restrictive on a little less restrictive on copyright infringement and a little more focused on the actual people that build their site. The people had a voice. People everywhere had a voice thanks to this YouTube and can express themselves Let's kind of express themselves through this vid these videos. Now, progressively over the years, they've gotten more stricter with their copyright infringement with, to the point of where they remove videos without actually looking into them to see that the quote-unquote infringing material actually violates the rules. They contribute, like, they don't contribute anything 
that is um, would go against the co companies. It just really gets me mad that YouTube staff claims to do all this research and such before removing the video and making a tally against the count, rather than just jump the gun and lie about it. Such as can be seen as the PAVGN account, and he, I don't know the whole story, but uh, apparently he made a video, a brawl video, with music from another game called Super Mario RPG, which is owned by Nintendo. Well, according to what he claims, Sony cl put up a video claim on it, and after a few hours, his account was suspended. Then, I think a few hours later, his account was unsuspended, and the video that had the um, claim was not removed, but every single other video, all the hundreds of videos that he had made were gone. They're gone. Just because YouTube was ignorant and did not do the research like they say they would. It just really gets me mad that YouTube would put up with such hypocrisy. I don't know if it was Sony's fault or YouTube's fault or a combination of both, but that really just stuck out of my mind. That made me laugh at YouTube and yet feel bad for P A V N G whatever his name is and how his how his account was just totally destroyed it's utter mocker, mockery of YouTube's own words and they, I'm sure PV, PAVGN was not the first guy to go undergo such unremarkable douchebaggery it's unexcusable it's simply unexcusable what YouTube is doing I'm just going to leave you with this. I loved YouTube in 2006, and I wish that it could still be to the point of where it was then, today. But people have noted the decreasing quality of YouTube, and this is al almost like the ultimate, this is the ultimate blow, the finishing blow that YouTube is going to deliver to the community. They promote such objects as like Google Chrome or Google Earth or anything with the word Google in it almost to the point of blatant advertising. In fact it is blatant advertising because you see Google Chrome at the every at the bottom of every page in YouTube. It's unexcusable. Okay. I probably had a lot much more that I wanted to say but I couldn't say it due to unexplicable rage. So I'm just going to leave now saying this is Smash Coon and I can't allow this to happen. Good night.